Today is June 30th, Friday, 2017. It is day 162 in the Donald Trump White House regime. Today we find that the Donald Trump White House is reeling from the Jared Kushner alleged blackmail of Morning Joe and Mika, the intelligence asset. And after yesterday's performance, it is clear that the Trump circus is on steroids. To me, I can only ascertain three clear options here. To me, there are only three options as to why Trump's behavior is so bizarre. Let's start with option number one. Option number one, that Trump is going senile or he's already in the stages of senality. And Ivanka's job is to hide this from the public. And that's why Ivanka and Jared are still around. Number two, Trump is actually just too dumb to recognize that Kushner is bringing him down. He's just too dumb to recognize it. Or option number three, that B.B. and the Kushners have something so devastating on Trump that he is stuck with them to the end. Now these are the only three options I can come up with on to why Donald Trump's behavior is so bizarre and he's keeping Jared Kushner around when it's clear Jared Kushner is going to bring him down, 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 big time. Now, for the slim chance that you might have missed yesterday's episode, let me bring you up to speed. Yesterday, Donald Trump came up with the infamous tweet, the bleeding facelift tweet that he directed Mika's way, and there was an uproar. Now, there's been a big uproar, but sometimes like Watergate, it's not actually the crime itself that brings you down. Sometimes it's the cover-up or one of the smaller details. And that's where we're at today. We're looking into what is not really a small detail because they are now alleging blackmail. That is not a small detail. And also, if you missed yesterday's episode, when we did a Google on Donald Trump yesterday, we only got 12 million results. Must have been a glitch in the matrix. And as you know, I am also a glitch in the matrix. Nobody is allowed to tell you what I'm telling you. Because if anybody out there told you what I tell you, what I report on, they would lose their job, they would lose their pension, they would lose everything. I have nothing to lose. So I am a glitch in the matrix. I am able to tell you the truth. And furthermore, it's sad that Donald Trump does not listen to our show because if he did, he would have gotten rid of Jared Kushner a long time ago and he would not be in this predicament today. If we do a Google on Donald Trump today, we get 353 million results in 0.82 seconds. Google is back up and running. I would not say so much for the Donald Trump White House staffers. They are probably in panic mode. As we said earlier, the White House is literally reeling because now there are allegations of blackmail. And of course, because Donald Trump has so recklessly and stupidly backed up Jared Kushner and kept him around, now he is stuck behind the eight ball. He has snookered himself. And pretty much the only out that Donald Trump is looking at now is he's got to attack North Korea. So, is there any good news today? Okay, let's get back to the... Um, what is Donald Trump thinking about today? Because there's a lot of stuff to think about. And Donald Trump and his generals are debating, well, the only way to get out of this mess is we've got to take out North Korea. At this point, I would pretty much, I don't even think that will work. I think that would just make it worse. So let's get to the main story today. The main story is that Morning Joe is alleging that Kushner tried to blackmail him. And many people out there are saying, well, this kind of runs in the family. And there's many, many people who are, well, they are alarmed at this type of behavior. Many people. I am, I am flabbergasted. I am shocked that Donald Trump 
would bring these type of people into the White House. I mean, I, I call him a 36-year-old slumlord, but it's much, much worse. I'm being kind. Remember that. When I call him a 36-year-old slumlord, I'm being extremely kind because there are allegations out there of much, much worse behavior. So let's go into them today. Now, of course, Donald Trump is denying it. Of course they would. The White House is denying that there was any blackmail that ever happened. <laughs> I mean, come on. I mean, when you have to deny that blackmail even occurred, well, you know you've got problems. I wonder how many lawyers are working on this problem. So, we're going to get right to it. Jared Kushner is reportedly the White House staffer who told Morning Joe, you have to apologize to Trump. Can you imagine that conversation where Jared Kushner, 36-year-old slumlord, telling some journalist, you're going to have to apologize to my father-in-law, or, or, okay, or what? According to Mike, according to Morning Mika and Mike, Jared Kushner type of people, they hold a grudge. And uh, lots of people say, that there are suspected gangsters surrounding Donald Trump. See, this is all coming out. None of this ever had to happen. The country, the country never even needed to know that Donald Trump is surrounded by gangsters had he just left Kushner out of the picture. How sad. I am so sad because, you know, for the first 75 days, I was giving Donald Trump the benefit of the doubt. I was basically almost on Donald Trump's side for 75 days. You know, until they put the fireworks in action and they, you know, sent those missiles off over chocolate. He lost me then. I jumped off the Trump train on day 77. And of course, we didn't even know about this punk. In the early days, you think Donald Trump would have been elected had we known about this punk? Hell no. It's amazing that Jared Kushner didn't really even come on the scene until day 77. They really kind of kept him hidden in there. Wonder why they kept him hidden. Now we know why. Because he has been implicated. He has been implicated in the ongoing and ever-widening Morning Joe scandal invo involving Joe and Mika. Unbelievable. Now I do have to say one thing. These are allegations. These are allegations by Morning Joe and Mika. We have no facts. These are not substantiated claim, so that's why we say the alleged blackmail. But I can tell you for a fact, if the White House is reeling and they have to defend themselves from alleged blackmail, do you think that there was a huge factory built today? Do you think Donald Trump and Jared Kushner had time to get on that with all the big dual citizen billionaires that they were get, they were able to get on the phone and say, I need that factory built yesterday that could employ 10,000 American deplorables. You think it happened? Hell no, because they're too busy trying to defend themselves uh, on allegations of blackmail by somebody from New York who has ties to who knows who. Worst case scenario. Best case scenario, he's just a 36-year-old slumlord who should probably be foreclosed upon by the international bankers, should basically take all his property away from him and leave him penniless and without even the shirt off his back. And then, of course, he'd have to go to work flipping hamburgers at Burger King. And he worked himself up. If he was able to sell 666 burgers a day, he could work himself up to manager's material. That's how it is in the real world if your daddy doesn't give you $10 million on your birthday. Ha! <laughs> but to tell you the truth, I grow tired talking about the evil Antichrist. You know that there are more than one Antichrist. They normally hide behind dimples in the number 666. No, they don't fool me none too much. So let's try to find some interesting news. Looks here that CNN producers, same tribe as Jared Kushner, you know, they think the American voters are stupid as shit. Wonder if we couldn't get that to go viral. I wonder what America would think if they knew that CNN thought they were stupid as shit. Ha! Probably 
probably the company that Jared Kushner ought to be in control of. Jared Kushner, CNN. Same tribe, same people. Like I say, there are more than one Antichrist. More than one. They all hide behind dimples in the number 666. So we're just going to keep on looking for interesting news. Andrew Como, what a disgrace. I mean, I don't know who these people think they are. I mean, they do not know what real Americans are about. That's a shame. That's a shame that we are all now walking like Illinois. We're all broke. The whole system's broke. They're just waiting for the bond collapse. They can do it any time. They're just waiting. It's going to be a controlled demolition. They make the date. They control the time. They want to be prepared. You know, FEMA camps, the whole nine yards. People are going to panic. As CNN says, Americans are just stupid as shit. <laughs> Unbelievable. And it says here, oh, the Democrats are looking to create a panel that could remove Donald Trump. There's a shooting in San Antonio, I believe also a shooting in a hospital in New York somewhere. And then they wonder, why would cheeky bikini bottoms, why would they go trendy? Why would they go viral? Seriously, I mean, I have no idea why that would go viral. Unbelievable. So, we're, again, we're going to keep on looking for news. Yeah, like I said, it looked like, I think that's, the, don't hold me to it, it might be in the Bronx, uh, but it's in New York City. Got one down in San Antonio. Now, like I was saying before, there's a strategy to remove Trump. There's an oversight commission, and they could declare the president incapacitated. I repeat. Their agenda is to declare the president incapacitated, and they could remove him. That would go back to my three options, huh? There's only three clear options. He's either senile, he's just very, very stupid to keep Jared Kushner around, or they got something on him. I mean, I guess there could be some other options. Leave a comment, but it's clear. I mean, many people, many people are just going to say, that, that Donald Trump is just ignorant. But that pretty much is option number two. He's just dumb. I mean, nobody, nobody in their right sense would keep Jared Kushner around this long. It's just, it just doesn't make any sense. We'll just keep on going down here, looking for good news. See if there is any good news today. Uh, let's see here. We're still looking. I'm not going to say anything about Jared Kushner again. Like I say, I grow tired of talking about him. This is sad here. Unbelievable. This woman living in a car. You've got to be careful who you hang out with. You really do. The young lady looks very, very depressed. I mean, you get yourself in a bad position like Donald Trump. You get snookered behind the eight ball. And, you know, it makes life rough. you got to be careful who you hang out with. I mean, I'm giving this out there for all the young people. Seriously. Young people, they hang around with anybody sometimes. You got to, I won't say it again, you got to be careful who you hang around with. They called Donald Trump a crazy lunatic, 70 year old man baby, just because he said she had a bleeding facelift. Um, the circus, it's a dog and pony show, people, isn't it? It's a dog and pony show, the bleeding facelift. It'd be funny if it wasn't so sad. It would literally be hysterical if it was not so sad. We're still looking. Uh, I, was not, I was not even aware that we were putting sanctions on a Chinese bank. Sometimes mainstream media, they just don't like to tell us everything. But if we're putting sanctions on Chinese banks, that's going to end badly. So, we're going to wind this segment down. Looking for anything interesting. U.S. is not going to let Japan investigators interview the warship crew because they'd find out that we probably have artificial intelligence guiding all our boats. Now this is interesting news here. Finally, NASA admits that they're launching artificial clouds. Everybody makes fun of the chemtrail conspiracy. Now, I mean, they're going, now they're going chemtrails on steroids. They're, they're, they're creating glowing clouds. I mean, we have an elite group of assholes that are out of control. I think Americans know that. We have an elite group of assholes who think they're above the law and they can put chemicals above our head and the masses, American people, what, what do they call us? 
We're just ignorant dipshits is what they think of us. Someday, one day, 300 million Gentiles are going to get really, really angry and the elites are going to wish they did not spread aluminum and barium above our heads. Trust me on that one. Please, please do not get me started on chemtrails because who gave these people the authority to put aluminum and other dangerous metals above my head then they float down and they make Americans sick? I mean, really, who died and left these people in charge? Or more importantly, do they really think they're God? Sit, please, somebody answer me on that. Do they really think they're God?